Well, it seemed pretty strange sitting down here at the bottom of the world in Australia this week and watching the American midterm election results come in on CNN. It was sort of like watching a sitcom. The political race that was a mixture overtaken by amnesia and a lack of reasoning. In saying this, I understand that many Americans are hurting as a result of the fallout from the global financial crisis. This struggle is, that is confronting many Americans is undoubtedly very, very tough on a day-to-day -day basis. But hey, has the whole America have forgotten how this come about? Forget all this Tea Party crap, talking in populist mantras by people like Sarah Palin. It's a nonsense. It is also important at this point to point out that I'm no rusted-on conservative, nor am I a rusted-on liberal. In my view, political ideologues dig graves. The problems America is now in were made in America, by Americans, and happened under the watch of the Republican Party, who now suddenly profess to have the answers to it. That seems a little bit strange. If they had the answers to it, why weren't they employing them when all the malarkey hit the fan under their watch? Well, still, they were not only made in America, it was America who exported the gluttony and unethical behaviour to the rest of the world, enmeshing many of the countries in the world in the fallout of America's horrid corporate behaviour. How weird's this? Has anyone questioned just what the Republicans' answers really are? Seriously. I've heard all this nonsensical stuff like ending big government. Whoopee. Gee, just what America needs right now is a few more thousands or tens of thousands of people out of work. Lowering taxes is another Republican answer. If you haven't got a job, you're not paying taxes, so how does lowering them help you? And certainly it's not going to help corporations put people on. How wonderful the wealthy will say, lowering the taxes. And you can bet there will be more bailouts for top end of town Republican friends. Gee, America needs that too, right at this moment. America is in the position it is in because the Republican Party and the total incompetence of the previous Bush administration and its unbridled view that greed was great. It is in this mess for no other reason. Bush's absolute free-to-rob-at-will policy for Wall Street and the merchant banks led America to the place in time it is in right now. To think Americans could fancifully contemplate that the mess the Republicans left the country in could be fixed overnight by Barack Obama or anyone else is actually quite comical. It's further beyond belief that Americans could be falling for the claptrap that's trotted out on Fox News and the Sarah Palin Tea Party and her supine cohorts. I actually thought the average American was smarter than that. Australia, while it suffered significantly from the Wall Street made in America subprime mortgage theft, and there is no other word to describe it, has weathered the storm simply by virtue of China's demands for our minerals, our commodities and food commodities. Otherwise, we would be in exactly the same position and the exactly the same parlous position that the average American and much of Europe finds itself in right now. And all this happened on the Republican Party's watch. Barack Obama may not have all the answers. I'm not sure anyone has. But Americans will suffer further at the average income level and jobless level if the Republicans get their hands back on the levers of power. It's something the Republicans don't deserve, again, for a considerable period of time. Come on, America. Your, your memory shouldn't be that short.